today we have a bit of a different background because I am in Köln, as you say in German, or Cologne, as you would say it in English, in Germany. I came here because one of my greatest friends is defending her PhD thesis tomorrow on Monday, and I came here to give her some support and to see the, her presentation. She is actually one of I think the first close friend of mine with whom I studied who is defending her PhD thesis. So I'm quite excited for that. I already saw her training and it's quite good. She's a bit nervous, which is totally normal. A PhD defense is kind of when you present your work, the whole work of your PhD to a jury and then you are asked questions about your work or about general knowledge. It really depends on what type of people are in your jury. Of course the rules differ a lot between different institutions and different uh, universities and even the number of juries you have of, uh, of people asking you questions is different. The rules always change a bit but the basic is always that you present and then you have questions. So everyone has to go through this to have their PhD. So I will have to go through this and uh, I don't know in how long. Don't ask me please because I do not know. Of course you also have to write a dissertation. So the presentation and your defense uh, are not the only things that matter for you to get your degree. Your written dissertation is normally the most important thing, but this is also pretty important and uh, I mean people do get really nervous. So yeah, just saying. Hi. <laughs> Say hi! Uh -huh. <laughs> there is Ines. <laughs> I think she's gonna do great. Meanwhile, I have been doing some work in as well because yeah, I will have a presentation in February too, which I have to prepare. So I have been doing that as well while she's here training her stuff. I will not have time to go around in the city. I'll put a photo of the cathedral here <laughs> or a video if I get some because that's mainly the like the must see thing in Cologne because it's an impressive cathedral, the Dome of Cologne. Dome of Cologne. Yeah. I'm cooking chili con carne. So there's not much light here, but enough to film a little bit, I guess. So I'm gonna be cooking for them today. And meanwhile, we can just like have a chat. What's like? But there's something I actually wanted to discuss with you and that I was talking to Inish and it's about the importance of being able to think when you study and not only memorize things. So we were talking about that because many people kind of study by just memorizing things and many times it has to do with the type of, of has to do with how things are taught to us. So we are given these books and we are said, okay, you have to know this definition. And you don't necessarily need to understand it. You just need to memorize the definition. And you have a total an A and you yay and you're happy and I know so much, which I think is not necessarily true. The more you are capable of understanding certain things and of being able to make connections between things, um, the higher the chances are that you are successful in whatever it is that you do. And also, it increases the chances of you not being so nervous. Because if you just memorize, you are always afraid that you will forget. But if you understand instead of memorizing, the probability that you will completely forgot, forget what you understand is much less. So yeah, that's just a tip here from Anne Maria. And I'm taking forever to cut an onion because I'm talking to you guys. So um, I guess I will talk to you later. And I really have to finish this because I'm really hungry. <laughs> We lived very close to each other, so we were very close. We were every day going home together, and 
But we took really different paths, and so she went to genetics and molecular biology, and I went to marine biology, of course. She did her master's as well in Germany, and she continued on with her PhD here in Cologne as well. She did her master's as well. And let me see if I don't get this wrong. So she works in a completely different field than mine, which I'm kind of ignorant about, but she works with SMA, which is spinal muscular atrophy. It's a disease that I was surprised that apparently reaches one in every 6,000 people in Europe. That's quite a lot. Very, it's a genetic disease and it's very serious. How do we explain this? Basically, our muscles are just not strong enough to do anything. There are apparently different levels of uh, this disease, and the, the basically just means you have no strength in your muscles to do stuff. Normally, the life expect expectancy is very short. I just learned about this today. So all the knowledge in my head is kind of scrambled, that scrambled eggs. And I don't know why I use that set. Ah, uh, mind blown, right? Chili con carne is ready. Today is the day Ines is defending her thesis. How are you, Ines? So now we just have something to eat and then we will go to her institute two hours before to prepare everything and uh, then it's time. We just came here to prepare the catering which is already here and now it's all in boxes. Mm. And in one hour Inej will start her presentation. She's Now she's gone so I'm just waiting here for her and uh, yeah. I am back in Vienna, so I don't know how this transition is gonna go. Inez did very well. In Germany, they have this tradition, which they also have in Austria, and maybe in other countries, I just don't know. I just know they have it here, and I had never heard of it before, before I came here. Uh, they, after the ceremony, so after you finish your PhD thesis, and you say, okay, you pass, you're now a doctor, your colleagues are supposed to give you a hat like made by them you know like these fancy doctor hats normally black with like a thing that you can put glasses on no it's not that's not the function i'm just kidding uh but anyways and uh they do one for you which is very specific for you hers was just amazing have mainly fashion and like science icons on it because that's what she kind of loves and it was just <laughs> So funny. <laughs> she even had a dressing wardrobe. <laughs> it, was, it was really fun, really cool. Basically afterwards we just went for a couple of drinks with her friends and we went home early because she went to work again today and I had to catch a flight early in the morning. So, and then I went directly from the airport to work because I only took half a day off, so I had to go to work in the afternoon. And in the morning, I actually didn't vlog. I felt like a zombie from Walking Dead, basically. Uh, except the eating people part. Now back to normal working life. And, um, yeah, I will end this vlog here. So, me and my friend Scar here. Say hi, Scar. Be polite. Bye. <laughs> Cuckoo. Bye, see you in the next video and feel free to comment, suggest or anything you want in the comment section below uh, and again, you know, like it and share it if you think this is uh, worth sharing and if you don't, don't and that's it, life and uh, yeah. See you in the next video!